Hey there, FreshBooks users. I am at Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm going to buy myself a donut, treat myself, so I can pay for it with my business card and show you my exact process of handling receipts when I make a business transaction. Now, this technically probably isn't really for business, but since I'm making a video that's going to help you learn to use FreshBooks, I'm calling it a biz expense. So, I'm going to tell you what I do with this particular receipts and all the receipts, how I use the app, the phone app is the best way to do it and you need to listen and I'll tell you my workflow and there's a particular part about FreshBooks that allows you to export receipts that is a really fantastic feature um, so listen up all right I'm back at the computer we are going to learn the exact way to upload we're gonna learn how not to do it even though you're gonna think you're using the app correctly but if you don't do it perfectly my way you're gonna wreck your books and I mean wreck. And then for those of you business champs who stick around to the end, I'm going to rock your world. How much would you like to rip out a tidy little export of all your receipts for a month and save them as an additional backup and wait until you see how FreshBooks names the files that they export for you. It's really good. All right, here we go. Buckle up. All right, way back when the original receipt attaching feature was designed here on the desktop and you were going to be in your expenses tab and you would hover over an expense and you could click on the little paper clip and you could add things from your hard drive. You could add um, files from your hard drive. You still have that, the ability to do this, but it was a pain in my neck to get things off of my phone or out of my email and then onto my computer hard drive with the file name that didn't make sense, so I had to rename it. Um, overall, I just didn't like the process. Um, I mean, no one, no one likes this stuff, right? Um, so I just wanted to be able to take a picture of a receipt on my Google phone, and then I wanted to be able to throw that receipt away and not have much more to do. Um, so when FreshBooks added some receipts functionality to the mobile app, I really wanted that to work. Um, and so after some trial and error, I found a way to use the app that doesn't break your bookkeeping. But if you aren't very careful and follow my specific instructions, you're going to ruin your books if you use the receipts app. Because your instincts will have you, almost certainly have you use it the wrong way. Um, and while I'm giving warnings, um, don't use the Dropbox integration or the personalized receipts email address that, that, that FreshBooks gives you if you have your bank connected. Don't use Dropbox or the receipts email if your bank is connected. As of August 22nd, those features only work for people who do not have their bank connected. All the receipts features that they've built thus far will duplicate expenses if your bank is connected, except for the way I'm about to tell you. So that means we've got to check out the app. First, you're going to open the app and you're going to go to the little expense pizza icon at the bottom. So I got my Dunkin' Donuts. Um, here you can see that expense. Do not use the green camera photo and do not use the plus sign. The only reason to use the plus sign is if you have an expense that is not in your business books. Like, for instance, um, maybe you use personal cash to pay for a drink at a business happy hour or maybe for a taxi. Um, in that case, you can use the plus sign and completely enter all the info related to that expense. The vendor, the date, all that good stuff because the, your bank is never going to import that. Um, and then at the end of the month, you'll do your journal entry um, to move those expenses that you paid for out of your personal cards or your personal cash. And you'll move them out of what FreshBooks calls petty cash and into owner's contribution. And um, if you have questions about that journal entry, please comment below um, or you can download my weekly checklist, which talks about that. So don't use either of these green buttons. Instead, you open the expense by just pressing into it. Inside the expense, you're going to hit the pencil icon, and then you are cooking with gas. See, now you have a little camera icon that's directly tied to this expense, and you can actually use this camera icon. So hit that attach receipt button next to the camera, and you're going to have the option of taking a photo right then or picking one from your gallery on your phone. I threw my Dunkin' receipt away right after I ate my donuts, after I'd taken a picture of it, so I'm selecting from the gallery. My recommendation for the take a photo one is going to be a little squirrely, but what I recommend you do is to take a picture of any receipt that is on your computer, because you're not taking pictures of those, you know, in your car or, um, you know, out at, at Office Depot or anything like that. So you might have a receipt like an Amazon receipt or a hotel receipt or an airline receipt that is in your email inbox 
checks right. And so you can open that up right at this moment as you're handling receipts and take a picture of that and it'll attach it to the exact expense. I know that in general, if you're using an app and you find yourself uh, taking a picture of a computer screen, uh, you're probably not using the app like the builder intended, but um, I think this is a great way to get some of those expense receipts into your FreshBooks um, or into your photo gallery and then get it into your FreshBooks. Hopefully in the future, the receipts features will be improved so that you have the ability to create a new expense or to match a receipt to an expense that the bank imported for you. That's the part that's missing, this matching feature. Um, that's how it needs to work so we don't create a giant mess of duplicate expenses. Anyway, right after you hit your um, exact image of your receipt, you're gonna see it in the expense and you can hit save and then you can go and do the next one. So there's gonna be a little paper clip next to the ones that have receipts attached so you know which ones you've done. So that is the way that I think um, I can help you take photos of receipts and use the app so so you're not having to take the time to download and upload or scan receipts um, and name files on your hard drive so you know what the heck they are. This method is going to be what I recommend to my clients and the members of my weekly FreshBooks Q&A office hours group um, until the receipt app functionality is built more like a drawer that allows us to match expenses that have been imported by our bank. Because I think everyone needs to be having their bank connected and using that bank technology. And now we're here for the most amazing part of all. As a part of your FreshBooks subscription, you get the ability to export receipts. You know how I said how much of a pain it was to name your receipts and give them the date and put the amount so you in the vendor name so you can be able to search for it. So it's um, it's not name something like a nasty nasty like scan image or a photo image on the file name. Well, this is the good stuff. And three cheers to the developers for this one. So in your expenses tab you will click on more actions. This is on desktop, by the way, you have to do this on desktop. And you need to um, click, select export expense receipts. Now, when you do that, you are going to be able to select the, the time period, month, year, last year, quarter, or even custom. Uh, maybe you're traveling and you know that all your exp expenses for a certain uh, time period are for um, something that you have to rebuild to a client and you wanna be able to download just those specific receipts. You can download a certain section, put them in a file and forward them on to that client to reimburse you perhaps. But you select your date and then when you do, you will get a download ready button. And y'all look at the way it's downloaded. You get the date, you get the category, you get the vendor, you get the amount. Oh yeah, that's the amount right there. So this is gold, how glorious is this? So I recommend doing this at regular intervals, maybe each month, each quarter ideally. Um, definitely don't wait until you're like closing down your business and try to um, export them all. You know, stuff like that is when stuff breaks. Um, so do it at regular intervals so you're not putting too much like pressure on the, on the export functionality. Um, but I think this is super powerful. You save it, yet yeah, well, you have the backup. Backups have to be saved for three years even after you close your business anyway. So, um, and it needs to be saved for three years while you're in business. So this is um, a great place to have your, a, a duplicate of your receipts. And it does the hard work for you of naming everything and getting it, you know, categorized by month, potentially, you know, you can cut and paste all those into a, a, a folder on your hard drive and have it nice and organized. I like it. All right. So, yes, you have to take pictures of a computer screen, which is a little bit wrong. But otherwise, I think this is a pretty good system. It's one that I actually use. So what do you think of it? Will this help you if you're not currently doing anything with receipts? Will it help you at least have a system to get started capturing a lot of them? Will this help you if you are already capturing receipts? Is this gonna save you time? If you have a better workflow, please chime in below um, and give this video a thumbs up if it helped. And be sure you're subscribed to the channel because I come up with a video every week. If you need help with FreshBooks and learning how to use this powerful software and all it's capable of, um, please reach out. A few hours with me is going to buy you back a whole heck of a lot of time or a few months in my very affordable weekly FreshBooks office hours where I have an open Q&A about FreshBooks will be some of the best money you've ever spent on your business processes, I promise. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson and I help businesses build their business legacy. I'm real sad because I ordered an old-fashioned cake donut, but I forgot to say glazed. Ooh.